to another Partners in Crime tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be teaching you how to make simple animated titles in Blender. Simple animated titles can be used in video projects, YouTube videos, templates, and more. So let's go ahead and have a look at some of the titles we'll be making. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the render engine to Cycles Render. We're going to drag this out a bit. And we're going to put the resolution up to 100%. We're going to put the frame rate at 60 frames per second. And what we're going to do now is we're going to name this. And for the purpose of the tu this tutorial, we're just going to name it Simple Animated Title. And you can choose what folder on your computer you'd like to save it to. We're just going to save it to the documents folder and we're going to press accept. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and scroll through and we're going to change this to audio video sync. And we'll change this to xvid. And we're going to change the bit rate to 70,000. Change this maximum to 70,000. And if you have audio, you'll want to change this to MP3, but this tutorial won't have any audio. This will just be me showing you how to make the title. So I'm going to change the site samples to 35 and the preview to 45. And change this clamp and direct to 5. So now we're ready to start making our titles. So what we're going to do is we're going to hover over here and we're going to press X on your keyboard to press delete. Then we're going to press numpad 1. Then we're going to press control alt numpad 0. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add text and we're going to press RX 90 and we'll press enter and we're going to press tab and we're going to erase that and you can type anything you'd like to type here but for the purpose of this tutorial we're just going to type simple up top and we're going to press tab and we're going to go over here to the fonts tab and we're going to change that horizontal alignment to center also we're going to go ahead and choose a custom font for our text so what we're going to do is we're going to go to wherever you have your fonts stored on your computer and you're going to want to set them up. Let's see, for this tutorial we'll just use hind regular. Alright, and we'll drag that up a bit and let's size this up by pressing S, pulling your mouse out, and pressing enter. Now we're going to press shift D and we're going to drag that down a bit and what we're going to do is we're going to press tab and we're going to erase that. I'm going to type animated title. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a curve and it's going to be a Bezier curve. I'm going to press RX90 and we're going to press enter and we're going to press tab and we're going to press V and we're just going to make that a vector. I'm going to go back into object mode. Now we're going to add another curve, this time a circle. I'm going to press RX90 I'm going to press enter and we're just going to pull that out on the x-axis over here to the left and we're going to press S I'm going to size that circle down and then we're going to press enter now we're going to right click to select our Bezier curve again and go into the curves tab and we're going to change the bevel object to our Bezier circle so we're going to right click on this Bezier circle again and we're going to size it down because that will make the line a little bit thinner and we're going to press enter now we're going to right click to select our line again and we're going to press SX and size that on the x-axis and we're going to press enter. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the world settings and we're going to change the background to black. What we're going to do is we're going to use our middle mouse button to pan around. We're going to pull that out. We're going to take our bottom text and we'll pull that in a bit. And we're going to press numpad 0 to go back into camera view. And we're going to right click on our curve to select it. And we're going to press new. And we're just going to give it a simple emission material. And so now that we've made the background black and given this new emission material, we're going to go into render view and see how this looks. And as you can see, we have a new emission material on the curve. It's time to put some emission materials on the text. But we want the text to have that disappearing effect, so what we're going to do is we're going to split the screen. And we're going to select our text. And we're going to get this node set up here. Go into the node editor. And drag that out a little bit. Now we're going to press new. And we we'll change that surface to emission. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a transparent shader. We'll add input texture coordinate. 
We're going to need a mapping. And we're going to add converter separate XYZ. Let's just drag these out, make it a little bit neater. And we're going to add color brightness contrast. We're going to add a mix shader. I'm going to scroll out here, get everything all organized. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start hooking these up. So we're going to take our emission and our transparent here, and we're going to get our mix shader down here. And we're going to hook the transparent shader up to the mix shader, the bottom of the mix shader. And we're going to drag this separate XYZ right here. This brightness contrast right there. Should be hooking up like this. And then the color of the brightness contrast goes into the factor of the mix shader. And we're going to take the X of the separate XYZ and put it into the color of the brightness contrast. Let's put that contrast up to, sorry, let's try a hundred. And I'm going to come on over here and hook that object up to the vector and we'll change that to a texture. And we'll hook the vector of our mapping into the vector of the separate XYZ. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to change this rotation to 90. And what we're going to want to do now is we're going to add an empty and it's going to be a plain axis and we're going to right click on our text again. And as you can see, there's a little empty space where we're going to put our empty here. We're going to just going to click empty. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into render view and see how this looks. All right, and right click to select your empty and press G Z to see how that looks. And as you can see, the text has a nice disappearing effect, but we want it to disappear right at the line. So what we're going to do is for now, we'll, we'll drag our text right at the line so that we can see what we're doing. I'm going to right click on, on our empty and we're going to go into render view. Now we're going to press GZ and we'll just have it right at the line and you're going to press enter. And now what we're going to do is this is called material 002. So what we're going to do is right click our bottom text and give it that same material. And then we're going to hit this plus right here. And what we're going to do is right click on our plane axis and we're going to press shift D. And we're going to drag that up a little bit and that's called empty 001. So we're going to right click on our bottom text and we're going to put empty 001 over here. And let's change that rotation to 270. All right, because we want it to come from the top to the bottom. I'm going to right click on that empty 001 and go back into render view. I'm going to press GZ. And as you can see, it has that erasing effect once again. And we're just going to press enter. Now we're going to go back into solid view and we're going to right click and just pull those up. And as you can see, we've got our simple animated title here. It's not animated yet though, so what we're going to do is we're going to animate them. But first, what we're going to do is show you how to change the color of these. You can just go over here into the emission and change this top emission to whatever color you like to change it to. And you can do the same for this text and even for the Bezier curve. So what we're going to do is show you how to animate this. We're going to change the start here to zero and we're going to jump all the way to frame 60. And we're going to go into the dope sheet. We're going to make sure we have this little arrow icon clicked so that it only changes the animation of what we have selected. And what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure everything looks even. We're going to go into render view and we're going to right click on our text. We're going to hold down shift and select our other text and we're going to press I and we're going to press location. So now we're going to jump to frame zero. And we're going to drag these in the opposite direction. And we're going to right click, hold down shift, then right click. And we're going to press I and we're going to press location. So as you can see, it has that nice coming out effect. 
So what we'll do now is let's jump to frame, let's try 140. And we're going to make sure we still have both of our texts selected. And we're going to press I and we're going to press location. And now we're just going to go to frame 200. Make sure both of our texts are selected. Uh, we're just going to drag these in the opposite direction again. Now we make sure both of our texts are selected by holding down shift and selecting them both. And we're going to press I and we're going to press location. So let's go ahead and see how this looks. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to animate that Bezier curve. So what we're going to do is come over here into the curves tab and we're going to jump to frame 60 and we're going to hover over that and we're going to press I I and we're going to go to frame 0 let's see change that end to 0 and we're going to press I I and let's see how that goes alright so we're going to jump to frame 140 and we're going to press I again. Now what we're going to do is go to frame 200. And we're going to change this end value back to 0. And we're going to hover over that and press I on the start and I on the end. And we're going to go into render view and we're going to see how it looks. Alright, so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to rewind that try it right here and we're going to press A make sure we have all of those keyframes selected and we have um, a way to move these keyframes along so what we're going to want to do is we're going to move these for the text so we're going to press G we're going to move those a little further along and you're going to want to drag the end of your animation out a little bit so let's see how this looks just a little bit too far so we're going to press G and we're going to bring it back. We want it to come up right when the line's done animating so let's see how that works. Right in the middle there. That should work out pretty fine. Alright and then we don't want the end to go back in until after the text is done so what we're going to do is we're going to right click we're going to press B on those end frames and we're going to press G and drag them out and then we're going to press enter and let's press G again drag those out because we don't want our line to disappear before our text does let's see so we're gonna just drag these for our text down just a little bit and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on that Bezier curve and we're gonna right click on our dope sheet and we're gonna press G I'm going to drag out the animation for our Bezier curve. Alright, so let's scroll down here and see what we've got. Alright, and now you have an animated title for your Blender videos, for your YouTube videos, for your YouTube projects. And we're going to go into render view and see how that looks. And remember, you can change the colors. Just rewind in the tutorial to where you can change the colors. And once you're done with this, you're going to want to save the file. So we're just going to name this Simple Animated Title. Now this is saving the blend file. So what we're going to do is we're going to just save this to any folder you would like to save it to on the, your computer. And you're going to save it as a Blender file. And what we're going to do is you're going to want to render this out to an animation and it will save to wherever you saved it to on your computer. And then your video will render out. So if you want your own simple animated titles, we have some on our website at partnersincrimegfx.com. And we also have them available on the Blender market. Just check out the links in the description. So thank you for watching another Partners in Coordinated Rendering Ideas Motion and Effects tutorial. We hope you watch more of our tutorials, and we'll see you again in the next one. <laughs>